Is it rolling? Yeah. Stop. Okay. Look at this. Look at all of this. All of this is because of one thing that we did. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to talk about. This is a Bali mansion. It is what it is. It's a Bali mansion. Get over it if you, if you don't like that. <laughs> we live in a Bali mansion. Get over it. Sorry. But it's all paid for and it's all because of publishing. And we want to talk about why, like give you the reasons and truly break it down and explain to you why publishing is better than drop shipping, better than FBA, all these other ones that you always hear about. Mm -hmm. Better than this, better than that, and why it really is the best way to get started if you want to live somewhere like this and do shit like that. Can we just spread if a little bit of do awareness that. about how incredible publishing is as an online yeah. business? Like we really want to articulate no, it like, and like, give you the reasons. Like, like, let's get a little emotional here. Like it changed our fucking life. Straight you up. Know? Straight but, up. Zero to Bali Mansion in 20 months. That's our publishing story. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so, okay. Let's fucking talk about it. Come on. Come on. Wait, come on. Sit up over here. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's actually get into why the fuck publishing, man. I'm telling you, publishing is the best. No one just knows it, but let's explain yeah. exactly why. Just because, know? like, not everyone in the world is, or everyone on the internet is doing publishing, does not mean, like, oh, no, that's not the best one. Mm -hmm. If anything, that helps us, because there's not many people doing it. No one's fucking doing audiobooks, which makes why it makes it so fucking stupid easy yeah. to make shitloads of money. Let's just get straight into the first point. Like we just have a few points that we thought of. The main ones. There's one that separates that, it from all the others. There's one that's like ninety percent of it. Yeah. Would you say? Uh, no, but yeah. You know sure. what I mean. I know what you mean. Right? Yes. It's, it's so literally, huge. it's literally the most passive business you will ever find in the world. We we talk about We're, this because it gets to a point where it can't get more passive. Mm -hmm. You can fucking sleep. For a whole year, well, so well, we were we talking use, to we our you as an example. Well, we, we were talking to our friend about like, publishing is the most passive thing, right? right. Like, we're not we're, we're not just biased, right? Yeah, like and he's like he's like yeah, there's that and there's real estate. That's the two uh -huh. that were are literally like 100, 100, 100 percent passive. Yeah. So so let's use you as an example, mm -hmm. right? The last time you published a book, an audio book on my book? personal account was Mar let's just be conservative say April. Right. It was in April. And I've just done this in a few videos. I'm just gonna run through. I I'm gonna put the whole number on the screen. If you wanna see like actual screenshots, I'll prove it. I don't really give a fuck. But this is gonna be the month by month from 2018, okay? 2018, and then April hadn't touched it since. Mm -hmm. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, okay? since. April, that's been completely fucking passive. Haven't touched it. Haven't done shit with it. Right, you built and that, the th first that money, the, the the dollars that you saw on the screen there, that's what's paying for this place. Like, oh, that's the profit. Okay, that's the fucking profit. Because nothing goes into it. I don't do shit. I just get the direct deposit at the end of the month. Like, that's what I live off of. But look, I, I don't live off of the YouTube money, the course money. I live off of that. And you can sit there and think like, okay, passive income, cool, but why passive income? Why passive income? Because the point is not to just fucking make money no, and work all the time. No, that's not the point, right? The point is be able to have the money and be able to do what the fuck you want at the same time. So you could have online businesses. You could run a dropshipping store. Speaking from experience, you ran a dropshipping store. And it was you the didn't most... Make a, you didn't make a lot of money, but even if you had, like, you yeah, had even no if, freedom. Even if I was making $50,000 a month in profit from that dropshipping store. Dude, I was fucking... Answering emails all the time, talking on the phone all the time, doing random shit, mm -hmm. right? It felt, I mean, it felt like I was working a nine to five job. Mm -hmm. That's what it felt, but I was doing it from home, which fucking, okay, that's yeah. sick. I was working all the fucking time and it was so not passive. For an online business that gets like yeah. promoted as a passive way to make money online. You can do these other online businesses. You could be a freelancer. Like you're a freelancer, yes, it's better than having a job, but you still don't have freedom to do what you want. You need to work to get the money and you need money to live, so like you have to work or else you go broke. But look, yeah, the money is not the important thing to me. Mm -hmm. It's the freedom that you have with that money. Yeah. So because of that, we're able to fucking travel uh, like wherever we want, so whenever we want. To, it's November 2018. We've been to 10 countries this year because of fucking this shit. Uh, fucking, we've been all over the place. Hawaii, Thailand, and Bali right now. Italy, Mexico, Mexico, Egypt. 
Egypt, fucking all of these dope ass places. Anyway, that's just the first point, the passiveness, it's like none other. If you disagree, if you think there's something that's as passive as publishing, put it in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. And I bet we'll get zero comments of people saying, here's something just as passive, if not more passive. I want to talk about this. If you agree, there's the let real it, estate like, thing. If you agree or disagree, especially if you disagree, let us know. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to, if there's something better, fuck. Let me fucking do that. Yeah, then. exactly. There's right? a, we're doing this because this is the fucking best thing that we know of. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, there's the real estate, but who, do you have a hundred grand to put down on a fucking home? The second point is that... Anyone can get started. Anyone. If you have internet, you can get started. Anyone. That's all you need. So it's best if you have money to invest in writers and cover designers, right? But you don't need it. The very first book that I ever published was something I wrote myself. Same, same. Let me put it, I want to put it on the screen. I've never shared it before. Had to be a 4.0 GPA student in college because I actually was that. We both were because mm -hmm. we worked hard, not because we're special. We're not special. We're not different from you. We're not any different. We just fucking took action. Yeah. <laughs> like no, no shit. We took action and actually like believed in the process uh -huh. and kept on going even when shit got hard. And here's my first book ever. Wrote it myself. What book CrossFit? Is it? CrossFit book. Fifty uh -huh. top fifty best CrossFit workouts. Yeah. It made me eight hundred fifty dollars in the first month. I'll be honest. I fucking hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah. That one well. That that made, it made a lot of money. Uh. So. Another video we're gonna make is like how to make your first dollar online or how to make your first dollar publishing, how to properly like actually get started because some people need that. The first dollar is the hardest mm -hmm. and then you hear all the excuses. But we're gonna make a video explaining why you don't have any excuses. And if the you biggest of the money, like you don't need any money. No. Or you're gonna write it yourself. Mm -hmm. Find something that you like to write about and just write like a 5,000 word book yourself. Get a five bucks to make a cover made. Uh, put it up and you'll make your first dollar and that'll prove to you like, oh shit, maybe there is something to what they're saying about this shit. We have our friend Suraj, broke Indian, turned Indian prince. Mm -hmm. He was making $150 a month at his job. In India. He lives in, in India. India. Literally saved up two months of salary to get his first book written. Mm -hmm. I'll say the chances are that you are living in a place where you can make much more than $150 a month. You have it easier than, than him for sure. Mm -hmm. And now he's doing over 10000 dollars a month he's rich as fuck in india rich yeah. as fuck i mean he's making as much as like, like i thought he was a terrorist he's that rich now in india i mean he's, he's making as much as more. like the corporate massive look, look i just multi slapped. <laughs> look it's blood ew, it's bloody ew that's gross i just got it i have blood on my finger can you wipe it off but he's making as much as like the high level ceos in india yeah. ten thousand dollars a yeah. month so he's a fucking he did this in one year it's real all this is can you hear the sound? This is real. This is real. <sighs> anyway, let's move on. Yeah. I get very passionate about this stuff because, man, I hate seeing people that are skeptical. And because of you're skeptical, it leads to not taking action on something. Mm -hmm. And it's so fucking sad. Mm -hmm. All you need is, like, a lot of testosterone. Okay. And that's it. That'll help. Yeah. But, and you'll need it. But my point is like, you, testosterone, you're a guy. Like, oh, let's do this. Yeah. You just need willingness. Mm -hmm. Willingness. Willingness. Yeah. That's a pretty good word. So that's two points so far. There are there's some, a few more points that separate publishing from all the other online businesses. Like why specifically publishing is such a, an easy way to actually make the money. Yes, it's passive. Yes, anyone can do it. But it's like actually successful mm -hmm. and work. Like one of the reasons why it works is because of... Amazon. If you've uh, if you, you've ever had an e-com store and you've tried like getting traffic, it's really, and how to really run hard. Ads, it's really it's hard. hard and it's expensive. Yeah. When I had my dropshipping store, all I was doing, I was just like chasing myself to make back the money I was spending on that by running ads. Yeah. But when you have a business on Amazon, it's completely different. Amazon has the most traffic on planet Earth of any website, and you get to have access to their traffic for free. Mm -hmm. All of it. Their entire platform all their customers, all their traffic for free. Mm -hmm. You could put something up, you just put it up, and you put it up, you it. publish it, and you make sales because there's people seeing it. If, you ju if the cover looks good, the title looks good, people will buy it. And then you also have the option to run Amazon ads if you want. And that takes you to a people. whole other level. Yeah, that's that something takes you to different. a whole other level. You don't need to pay a single cent in advertising to make you, money you just publishing. You just put it up and people, are there people will see it because amazon has that power mm -hmm. okay 
That was point number three. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to point number four. Oh, this is a big one. This is the ones that people don't realize. Yeah. Like you only know once you've been in the game, mm-hmm. made in different businesses, mm-hmm. and it's the fact that you don't have to deal with customers. Oh my god. You don't deal with customers. And wow, there's not many businesses like that. Well, that's because the you're selling shit to people, and people are gonna reply, like email you, like with the course. Mm-hmm. You would think, oh, you don't have. To, actually, you, no, you would not think you don't have to hear from people after they're giving you a thousand dollars. But they email you refunds, this and that. I mean, that's the biggest lesson I learned with uh, drop shipping. Mm-hmm. I literally decided after I went through the whole experience, like, I do not want to have another business where I have to deal with people. Mm-hmm. Now that's not possible because if I want to make a lot of money, mm-hmm. we'll eventually have to. Yeah, but. For a dropshipping store, <laughs> oh my God, it's the biggest pain in the ass. All right, but again, that's leveraging Amazon because Amazon takes care of customer service for you. Mm-hmm. It's fucking next level shit, guys. Mm-hmm. It just com- it just has every component of what you want. Mm-hmm. Is there more to talk about? Not really. Dude, dude. What? You have blue shit all over your nose now. I can't see it, but okay. Keep it rolling. Yeah. All right, is that, um, is, are those the points? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't want to fucking overcomplicate it. It's no, the most no. passive shit in the world. That we could bring and in- anyone can get started, and you don't need any skills. You don't need to be a writer, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, did we talk about that one? That anyone can do it? <laughs> Not really. That's one of the, that's, that'll be the final point. Yeah. Anyone can do it right now. You can start right after this video is over. We're going to make another video dedicated to this. Mm-hmm. Just write on a topic, write a top. Write a book about a topic you're passionate about. If you're passionate about basketball, write like a basketball training or basketball dribbling guide. Mm-hmm. You put it up with a nice cover, have it up there for a week, you will make a sale and make your first dollar. I really wish I could tell more about Sue Ridge's business, but I can't because the whole, we got a whole video on it. Yeah, but the specifics. Then you'll kind of understand that you can honestly make a publishing business and brand around anything. Well, he made just super random thing, made books about it, makes a fuck little money. Okay, you know what? Let's wrap this video up. So dudes, dudes, dudes. Magic emoji of the day is an eight ball. Is there, is there an emoji for that? I feel like we didn't wrap it up. We didn't wrap it up. No, we told everything. This is why publishing is the greatest. Okay. And if you if you disagree, uh, I want if you, if you disagree, I want to talk about it. Yeah. You know, if there's something better, oh, I really want to talk about it. I want to get into that. I really but, hope we get comments of people saying why no, publishing is not the best and this is even better. Uh-huh. Uh, and then let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, if you're, one, if, if you're watching this, you, now you want to get into it, uh, we got a free mini course about it. Just to get started on that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to play anything else besides that. Right. Let's, uh... You can also make a shitload of money. Like, that's another thing. It's not... This is not pennies. Mm-hmm. People making dumb money. Uh-huh. Seriously. And you call yourself a published author. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's that as well. There's that as well. I'm actually an Amazon best-selling author from my CrossFit book that I showed you. Technically, you are. I technically, I am. Right. Well, technically, I just, I just am. Uh-huh. I'm a best-selling Amazon author. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, let's, let's show the place. Like, this is all because of publishing. Show Ole. 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 Ole is a publisher as well. Hello, Ole. <laughs> hey, you're famous now. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap the video up. See you in the next video. Drop those emojis. <laughs>